standing here with David Dock, the CEO of American Axle. We're going to be back in a minute to show you the technology he's got that can convert just about any kind of a vehicle into a hybrid. Follow the future minds of the industry with hashtag Intern Yazaki. Yazaki's team of automotive interns are covering the car management briefing seminars using Instagram and Twitter in partnership with Autoline.tv. It's industry insight from the next generation. Follow hashtag Intern Yazaki or visit www.autoline.tv. Joining me right now is David Daup, the CEO of American Axle and Manufacturing with some very interesting technology you showed here at MBS. This EAAM, explain what it's about. No, we're really excited about EAM and what it has to offer. Uh, we partnered with Saab back in uh, September 2010 and then ultimately took over the assets completely in March of 2012. And what it did is allowed us to bring in electric all-wheel drive and, and full electric uh, uh, systems into our portfolio. So this is a front-wheel drive car, but you're putting an electric motor for the back wheels. We certainly are. And it's adaptable to a number of different power plants as far as uh, um, the internal combustion engine, plug-in hybrid, battery electric, uh, full electric type applications as well, and scalable that way. So if it's front-wheel drive, now with this, it's all-wheel drive, or you can run on the engine, or you can run on electric. So it's hybrid, electric, all-wheel drive, you've got it. Exactly right. And it's definitely going to help the uh, automakers in the future with the technology that will allow them to deal with some of the CAFE and CO2 emission requirements that are out there. This concept's been talked about before, but I think one of the things that you're bringing is torque vectoring and explain the importance of that. Well, torque vectoring brings a different dimension to the technology in regards to the ride and handling capabilities and the performance capabilities that go with it. And uh, we're really excited about it and it's, it's a differentiator uh, for the technology that we're bringing forward. And of course, torque vectoring will decide whether it's the left side or the right hand side of the car that should get the most Yeah, exactly uh, torque. right. Yeah, it, uh, you know, it, the, the control system moves the, the, the power and the torque to the appropriate wheels uh, based on the, the need of the vehicle at the time. Very exciting too, you're not just talking about it. You say you've got customers who are going to put this into production in just the next couple yeah, of years. Yeah, we do, and that's that's the best part about it. Uh, we've actually uh, partnered with Chorus, which is a joint venture between Cherry Automotive and an Israeli private investor. Uh, the program will launch in uh, late 2016, early 2017 period of time, and we're working with a number of other OEMs on a global basis at this time as well. Very interesting, very exciting. David Doc, thanks for Great. your time. Thanks, John, I really appreciate it. Keep tuning in. We've got a lot more updates coming from the MBS that will be seen on Autoline.tv as well as our YouTube channel. There's more car news and industry insight from the Autoline network every day. Take a moment to click that subscribe button. You'll never miss another Autoline episode.